As always, we are starting with the combinations. And we have the standard ones really with a few buttons and oh, a little tie. I already have my stockings on and these are wool with contrasting colours and stripes, very snazzy. That tie is good for nothing. Right, next layer, obviously, corset. At that time, the silhouette is slightly starting to change. Hold on, for once. And this corset will shortly, within about two years, be a little bit outmoded, out of date. And we are going for the S silhouette in the beginning of the 20th century. But so far, so good. And I'm not the most fashionable person. Bit too big now. Let's do the difficult bits and go for boots. I'm missing a button. It has to be button, doesn't it? Oh well. I remember my hook. Right. What? Hope not to be too indiscreet, but this is better. It's a new one and it has no buttonholes but tiny loops. So well. Tiny loops it is. Again, it's, it's an original one and it sports original elastic that regulates the waist. Don't want to move it too much. And obviously with age it has gone a little bit soft like most of us. With this outfit, I could go with a blouse instead of a camisole. It would work just as well, but I think for today, let's do without petticoats. 
Again, we're looking at two or three petticoats at that time. Usually a plain cotton one to start with, like this one. And underskirts going on top. So we have a choice of a silk one with some lace or a cotton and silk one. And I think I prefer this one. The coloured petticoats and coloured underwear were becoming very popular at the time. So another adventure to explore. Well, I was I forgot that I didn't put buttons on this one. Fortunately there's a handy safety pin. I'll make this one um, based on an original petticoat. As you can see, I've run out of silk for the ruffles before I've added quite enough ruffles for it. I could do with another layer or two to look more like the original, but it's not too shabby actually. to provide a little bit more volume. So no a bust, not a bustle, but I'm quite pleased with this one. Right. Skirt. This is a walking outfit and it's made of cotton and linen vintage fabric. It's lined with glazed cotton all the way through and decorated with a braid. And the silhouette, well, the, the pattern follows a much closer silhouette of the time. Still sort of A shape, but we are coming closer to the tulip shapes. Now can I do it myself? The pattern for this outfit is in my first book. So gradually towards the end of the century you will see much more fitted skirt here. But not yet. And if I had a blouse on, you can actually go out like that. But I have this 
and bodices of that here up were quite cross fitting but also quite short. Some of them are like bolero jackets. This one is the same fabric lined with silk and it has an amazing colour. It closes with hooks and bars, and it's difficult to see them. Okay, this is an antique belt that would be worn with a costume like this. There we go. Better. So that could be worn instead. I'm not putting it on, actually. 